My name is Dr. Mark Reisman. I'm the Director of Structural Heart at NYP, Weill Cornell, and also co-director of the NYP Enterprise with a colleague of mine up at Columbia, Dr. Sushil Kadali. My name is Sushil Kadali, and I'm Director of the Structural Heart and Valve Center at uh, Columbia University New York Presbyterian Medical Center. Structural Heart specifically is non-coronary. We're looking at the valves of the heart, the muscle of the heart, which includes heart failure, one of the things that New York Presbyterian offers that's unique in structural heart disease is a ton of experience. We've uh, been in the field since its inception back in the early 2000s. And since that time, we've continued to build on experience and we've grown with the field and we've helped grow the field. We are now looking at treating these particular problems, those are the valves and the heart muscle, with what we call percutaneous or transcatheter devices. These are devices that were able to enter the body and enter the heart through some very tiny incisions in veins and arteries in order to fix these uh, ailments. At New York Presbyterian, we've been at the forefront of transcatheter tricuspid valve therapy. We were one of the first sites in the U.S. to do a transcatheter uh, tricuspid valve therapy. We continue to innovate. With the evolution of technology, we're now able to put the types of valves that heart surgeons would place openly through these little incisions to replace somebody's heart valve, we can do it one day and then discharge them the following morning. And that's remarkable. One of the other big strengths at uh, New York Presbyterian is we, we really have a team-based approach. Structural heart disease requires input treatment to, to give the best possible uh, therapy for a patient for multiple specialties. Not only interventional cardiology, but cardiac surgery, cardiology, cardiac imaging, congestive heart failure doctors, and it's by using this team-based approach that I think you can deliver the best care to patients. Often patients come in and the thing they're thinking about is, is there something better? Is there more I can do? When they come within the NYP system, they really don't have to go anywhere else. We treat patients that are low risk and, and very straightforward procedures, but we also treat patients that are extremely ill, that have been turned down for the treatment other places. By bringing those patients here and engaging the expertise of all the physicians here, not just in cardiology, but in multiple specialties, to see what's appropriate to deliver, what can we do, and how do we deliver the best care to that patient. The patient knows that they're cared for, and the patient knows that there's a, there's a group of physicians and an environment such as NYP where you have all the subspecialty and all the specialists that they know that what could have been done was the best that could have been achieved. The goal is to do this team-based approach and deliver the appropriate therapy for the appropriate patient. The main drivers are, are the outcomes of the patients and the sense that you've really uh, changed someone's life. 